Have you ever wondered if an AI could someday think like you? Not just predict the next word in a sentence, but feel, reason, plan, even set its own goals? I mean, that's the dream. And kind of the fear of artificial general intelligence, or AGI. An AI that is as smart as a human, or even smarter. And today, some of the world's leading researchers are saying we might be closer than we think. So what exactly though is AGI? What would it take to build one? And how close are we really? Let's break it down. First up, AGI stands for Artificial General Intelligence. Unlike narrow AI, like the model powering your smart assistant or ChatGPT, AGI would be able to learn any task a human can, transfer knowledge between domains, and improve itself over time. If narrow AI is like a savant that's incredible at one thing, AGI is a polymath. I mean, you don't need to be retrained to go from cooking to learning piano. AGI wouldn't either. The key is generalization. Now, here's where it gets really interesting. According to OpenAI, AGI is a system that outperforms humans at most economically valuable work. But there's a catch. Nobody agrees right now on how to measure general intelligence in machines. Some researchers use cognitive benchmarks. Others propose IQ style tests like the ARC challenge, which requires abstract reasoning. So it brings up a question though, how close are we really? Let's talk about some recent breakthroughs. GPT-4 can write code, pass bar exams and explain jokes. Cool, it's, it's doing well. Google DeepMind's Gatto performs over 600 tasks across vision, language, and control with the same model. Another example would be Anthropic's Claude. It can show early signs of self-critiquing and chain of thought reasoning. Let's pause for a second though. Let's go back a little bit to Gatto specifically because this deserves a deeper look on its own. At first glance, Gatto might sound like just another large model, but it's multi-modal, multi-task, multi, multi and embodiment generalist agent. I think I got that right. It's a mouthful. So let's break it down. Gatto is trained on over 600 tasks, as I mentioned, not just writing and answering questions, but things like playing Atari, controlling a robot arm to stack blocks or captioning images, things like engaging in dialogue and navigating in 3D environments. But here's the wild part. It uses the same weights across every task. No task, specific fine tuning. One model, one brain, all tasks, kind of like us humans. Technically, it's a transformer like GPT, but the innovation is in how it treats all inputs and outputs the same way, as a sequence of tokens. Pixels, text, joystick commands, if you're playing a game, it flattens them into a single stream, which really means Gatto isn't trained to do one thing well, it's trained to generalize to treat vision, language, and control as fundamentally the same problem, which is prediction. That's why DeepMind called it a generalist agent. It's not yet AGI, but it's a major step in that direction, a single model that can operate in multiple environments and modalities without reconfiguration. But it does raise a really key question. If one model can learn to play games, move robotic limbs, and hold conversations, what else could it learn with more compute and better architecture? According to a 2022 survey of over 738 AI researchers, the median estimate for AGI arrival is by 2059. Not too far away. And yet some at OpenAI believe it could even happen sooner. In fact, OpenAI CEO, Sam Altman, as we all know, recently said we might hit early AGI in the next few years. <sighs> But what would that look like? Okay, imagine an AGI agent embedded in your daily life. It writes your reports, designs your marketing strategy, builds the app that you have been procrastinating on, and then it explains it to your client in the tone or in their tone of voice. AGI wouldn't just be reactive, it would be proactive. Take AutoGPT or Devon, for example. I mean, these are early examples of AI agents that can plan tasks, use tools, and operate autonomously. The really interesting thing is this is just the beginning of agentic AI, not just responding to prompts, but acting. And that changes everything, not just productivity, but how we define intelligence itself. But we're not there yet, we have some time. There are some massive technical challenges standing in the way. First is memory, memory and long-term planning. Most LLMs can't remember earlier conversations. And now we are getting a bit advanced with that. We've seen with ChatGPT, 
AGI though would need to be persistent memory and a model of the world. Second is embodiment. Humans learn by interacting with the physical world. How can we, or can we at all, simulate that for AI? Projects like OpenAI's robotics and Meta's Ego4D are really trying. Now third is alignment. How do we make sure AGI's goals match human values? This is called the alignment problem, and it's arguably the most important unsolved problem in AI. And fourth, energy and computation. Training GPT-4, for example, costs over 10 million in compute alone. AGI would require even more power, possibly demanding neuroformic, neuroformic chips. It's a hard word to say, okay? Or breakthroughs in efficiency. So why does this matter though? Because once AGI exists, it won't just be a smarter assistant, it will disrupt every knowledge job, rewire education, medicine, law, engineering. And what's even more mind blowing is it will create so many new technologies that we can't even imagine right now. But it could also widen inequality when we think about it. Concentrate power. And what do you even regulate? That's why organizations such as Anthropic, DeepMind and OpenAI are investing heavily in safety and governance. Even in the UK and US governments are setting up AGI task forces to prepare. So is AGI closer than we think? Maybe. I mean, we've moved from rule-based programs to self-learning systems, from static models to autonomous agents, and now we're building the scaffolding for things such as memory, reasoning, and goal-directed behavior. But true AGI, true, true AGI, that still requires some new breakthroughs, not just in compute, but in understanding intelligence itself and how we define it. We're close enough to get excited, but far enough that we still have time to build it right. So next time you hear AGI is coming, ask yourself, what do we mean by intelligence? Who decides what it does? And how do we make sure it benefits everyone? Because this isn't science fiction anymore. It's a design question. How are we going to build this? And it's one of the most important questions in our lifetime. That sounds really traumatic, but it kind of is true, especially when you think about how it will impact everyone's roles, not just people working in tech, but across the board. I'm really curious to hear your thoughts on AGI. Are you excited for it? Do you think we are close like some experts are saying or like others, we have time? Leave in the comments, make sure to hit that subscribe button and I will see you all soon.